G'day and welcome to the behind the scenes of Peace and Quiet. Uh, the story behind it was actually uh, a very, very condensed version for the three minute format uh, of an idea I'd had for a stage play actually that um, involved the journey of a, of a sound guy that was basically uh, struggling with some negative self-talk and um, yeah, there's, you know, confrontation ensues. It was a very deliberate um, choice to start warm and cozy and end up, you know, very cold and bleak. Uh, when we started filming, I used some uh, practical lights basically and, and uh, fiddled with the white balance and actually used uh, a picture of orange on one of the other computer screens. It was also then effectively a, uh, an LCD light source. Um, that just threw up a bit of light from the opposite direction. Uh, I always knew or hoped that I could uh, include some drone shots in the film. Uh, I thought it would just make a point of interest. I didn't have the budget for a drone, I uh, couldn't afford one. I ended up buying a second-hand Zhiyun Smooth 2 uh, gimbal, which was absolutely fantastic. And hey presto, stuck it on the end of a boom pole and you've got a mighty portable uh, jib that you can use for some pretty amazing shots. Now, of course, that made it look like the world's largest selfie stick. And we did get some looks uh, when we did the final shot in the city. We didn't have it fully extended, but it worked pretty well. All of the sound was added later um, in post-production. Uh, I'd taken a little bit of location sound uh, as I went, a lot of it was from previous uh, libraries that I'd recorded. The beauty of having a sound guy as the main character holding a blimp is that he can pretty unobtrusively uh, record his own sound. The astute amongst you will have noticed that for the bulk of the film, I was actually holding the blimp uh, backwards. Just made for an easier, um, an easier pickup, basically. With the gimbal, I'd actually learnt how to hold it so that I could do a trailing shot. And I think that worked pretty effectively as well. With sound, I used the NTG3 for the bulk of the recording. NT1A for a little bit of it. They just made us spot on. Yeah, just wanted to say big thank you to my family, uh, my wife and kids who assisted on the film. Got them to ride around in circles uh, doing some bike sounds. Hopefully you've enjoyed the film. Catch you again next year.